What to do when you're feeling negative all the time. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about what you need to do in situations where you're feeling more negative than positive. It's easy for us to maintain a state of negativity, and we don't want that. It's always a good idea to do the exact opposite. We should never spend every waking moment with negative thoughts and feelings. So this presentation will go over the steps you need to take should that be the case. It's recommended that you take notes and use them as reference. Let's get started. The first step is to identify the source of your negative feelings. These feelings come from somewhere. So you need to know what that source is. This can be something related to work. You may be dealing with work-related stress. Or it may be something going on in your personal life. This can be financial problems, relationship issues, and perhaps other external factors. Also, internal factors like anxiety and self-doubt can also play a role in this. It's important to identify the source of those negative feelings and be able to address those problems. So for example, if the source is work-related stress, find a way to reduce your workload or manage your stress levels. If it's relationship issues, you'll want to talk with a therapist to see if there are any other solutions to fix the issue. Otherwise, you may want to end the relationship if you've exhausted all other options. It may be a good option for your mental health anyway. The next step is to practice mindfulness, and this is a powerful tool that really has helped out a lot of people. It might work for you as well. To practice mindfulness, you can set aside a few minutes per day and sit in a quiet space. During this time, you'll want to focus on the breath. Don't let the wandering thoughts pull you away. Just acknowledge and remain focused on the breath. Third, it's important that you should get plenty of sleep. Give or take at least seven to eight hours per night. A lack of sleep can lead to irritability, fatigue, and you'll be prone to stressful situations. It's important to put together and maintain a sleep routine that will ensure that you get a good night's rest. This includes going to bed and waking up at certain times. This also includes avoiding caffeine and alcohol before bed and creating a pre-bedtime routine. So for example, if your scheduled bedtime is 10 p.m., you should have all electronics shut off by 8 p.m. You should stop consuming caffeine at least by noon. Once you get into the habit of this, it should be like second nature. Fourth, it's important to exercise regularly. This can improve your physical and mental health, and you'll want to do at least 30 minutes of exercise for at least five days a week. This can include walking, cycling, jogging, or even yoga. Exercising on a regular basis should be part of your everyday life. Last but not least, it is encouraged to seek support from others when necessary. This includes your friends, family, or even professionals if possible. These are people who are willing to lend an ear and listen to you. It may be a challenge to talk to someone you don't know about your negative feelings and challenges, so it may be a good idea to talk to someone who you know and trust. That does it for this presentation. We hope you've gotten quite a bit of information from this. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.